Parkinson's disease is diagnosed in a less objective and direct way than we can diagnose a stroke, meaning that there's no magic test for Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease largely is a combination of symptoms, progression of those symptoms over a long period of time. It may take two or three years to actually for us to hone in and say this is definitely definitively Parkinson's most likely. MRIs and other tests can help support it by largely ruling out other causes like stroke for Parkinson's symptoms. So I would say it's largely a combination of symptoms over time is generally how we look at it. Certain types of Parkinson's disease are associated with cognitive problems. That does not mean that every Parkinson's patient necessarily will develop dementia, but there is a clear affiliation in certain subtypes of Parkinson's, of which there are quite a few. There are a number of treatments for Parkinson's disease, and a lot of that is tailored to the patient and to the disease course and how the severity of the disease and what symptoms are more common in one patient or the other. Generally, there are what are called dopaminergic agents that increase what's called dopamine in the brain, which is what's called a neurotransmitter. But those medications largely act to help with movements. But there are other medications as well that are relatively broad in, in category that, that can be used to augment the disease. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease. All the treatments are utilized to largely manage the symptoms.